What's up, y'all? Another episode of Rickerson Outdoors today. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to be getting into the review of the new Fish Pond Thunderhead Sling Pack. Fully sealed, waterproof. Obviously, if you can see down here, Ruger loves it. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Oh! There's old Rugs. Hey, look at the camera. No. No. Look at the camera. <laughs> Rugs is in here with us today, so if you hear a couple barks, it's this guy here. Anyways, getting into the review of the product, um, I had to, so when I went into buying this product, also I bought this product, not given to me, so it's an honest review. Um, when I had to consider buying it, um, I basically had four choices. I was choosing between the Sims Dry Creek Bag, the Sims Dry Creek Backpack, the Thunderhead Fish Pond Backpack, and this Thunderhead Sling Pack. So basically all of those are going to be completely waterproof packs. Um, the Sims one, the material I think is a little bit lighter and not as durable feeling as this stuff is. Uh, but with that the backpack and sling is also lighter. And then the other thing with that is that the zippers on the sling pack of both the Sims pack, uh, Sims Sling Pack and the Sims uh, Backpack both of those zippers are going to be a little bit different. They're almost Ziploc-ish. Um, and so it's a new zipper to put out. It's a little bit easier to use than this kind of zipper. As you can see, these are pretty rugged, durable zippers. Uh, these are tested and proven. They're very, very similar to ones like you find like on a Yeti hopper or something like that. So these zippers have been put on just about anything you can think of that's waterproof of this nature and they do a great job. The only thing that's wrong with them is that they, they really are just a little stiff. I mean that's really about it. Uh, they do wear in the more you use them. Uh, they come with them, some lubricants and whatnot and they have these little these little finger pulls right here. Um, and I really like that. I, I, I just I kinda went for some durability and reliability rather than the newer Sims pack with the with the zippers that are maybe a little bit easier to open. But I, don't, I just don't know how sealed those sims packs are going to be yet so that's why i went with this thing with the with the fish pond and then my decision came down to whether or not i wanted a completely waterproof backpack or a completely waterproof sling pack and so i ended up opting for obviously the sling pack here and mainly because the fish pond backpack is so big and it's just basically one chamber that if you drop your camera in it or your fly box there everything just gets jumbled and knowing me Every time I have more space in a pack, I fill it up. It's just what I do. It's like, oh, I got more space, so might as well use it, right? And so then I end up taking things that I don't need, and I really wanted to just bring it back down and make it a little bit more simple, if that makes sense. And so that's why I ended up opting for the sling pack. A little less room, but it's going to be lighter. I still have the ability to drop my camera in it, and that's the whole point of having this sling pack is... I have my Badlands, I love Badlands products, I have the Badlands Ascent Pack that I normally fish out of, um, and I throw my camera in, it's got the nice protective slots in there, I did a whole review on that, so after this video go check that out. Um, the only problem with the Badlands is that it's hard to fish out of a backpack, because you basically have to flip the whole backpack over and take or take it off to, to get anything out of it, but with a sling pack you just... Whoop, sling it right over the top of your shoulder and you're ready to fish and that's what I wanted I needed something that I could do that in and also whenever I'm chest deep in some river somewhere 
or on the boat or in the kayak, I needed something that I know for 100% that it's waterproof and my camera is not going to get soaked. That way I don't have to stress about it. I can just go do whatever I want and my camera is not stopping me from doing anything. That way I can go get cool shots without being all stressed out about my camera or if I'm worried about rain coming or whatnot and if I'm in the mountains, I know that when that rain comes, just throw the camera in here and you're good to go. Um, so with that, we go going into a couple of features. Uh, first off, I love being able to throw my net right in here. So building custom nets and whatnot just like this and just about any kind of net you can think of. As long, I do have some curved handle nets that I build that don't fit all that well in this little slot right here where it slides into just like that. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty nifty. I was worried that this bump right here might be a little uncomfortable with the net sitting in that, but it really wasn't bad. Um, actually worked really, really well, and it's nice and easy. I know where my net is. It's better than like the bungee sling cords where you're trying to like fish around for your magnet. Those just annoy the heck out of me. So with this, I'm able to throw that net right in here, just drop it in there. And so I know exactly where it is. I can just, when I have it on, just boom, told it, take that net. Now you're ready to net fish, and when you're done with your net, just slide it right back in. It's really easy, um, and it, it, it's just stiff enough so like you don't have to worry about this net coming out. It's, it's, it's in a great spot. I think they did a really good job with that. Um, second thing, these rod straps, awesome for being able to put a rod tube in it. That way, uh, when I'm hiking around, throw the rod tube in it. Um, you can, I've also put my jacket, strap my jacket in one, and then another piece of gear in the other. Whatever you need to do, um, it's got these little squares that I know Fish Pond has uh, a personalized actual rod holder, not a rod tube holder, but a rod holder that goes on to these these little square port, ports right here. Um, that's awesome. It's got another one on the base of the pack right here. This is for this is a finger tab for being able to pull that zipper open. Just give you a place to grip it. Um, and they also just have a ton of other uh, modu modular type things that go and clip on to stuff like stuff like this. The other thing that I really, really, really enjoy about it is this outside pack. Um, the zipper is not completely waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. Uh, if you were to take a little swim in this, most of the stuff would get kind of wet, but not that wet. It's good enough to be able to throw. I mean, you can see what I like to throw in. I've got split shot, I've got keys in there, I mean just whatever else. <laughs> I've actually been looking for these so this is a great video. I found my keys. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Um, but yeah, throwing leaders in there, just whatever, just that kind of thing where you, you don't really care if that kind of stuff gets wet and that way it just is an extra little pocket because these, uh, these bags unfortunately because of the waterproof nature of them they don't really have a bunch of like organizational compartments in them and that really kind of makes a hodgepodge of things kind of that sits at the bottom. Um, so what I like to do is so I'll kind of go through what I got in here right now. So I've got GoPro, batteries, all that stuff, camera stuff in there. Keep it, I just kind of, it's my own little organizational thing. Um, but, sorry, I'm going to throw the fly box at you while I'm at it. A fly box in it. Uh, obviously, this is kind of my go-to fly box. Uh, it's got bass, sunfish, saltwater, whatever else. I I'm always have this uh, this fly box with me no matter what. If I'm in the mountains, coast, hill country, I got this fly box. It's kind of my all-around fly box. Um, and then I also keep this in inside that pack. And so if I'm really getting the camera jostle around. I'll throw the camera in this, it's just some additional padding and that kind of thing. That way I can just throw the camera in there and not have to worry about it all getting jostled around. Alright, and then as you can see, I threw this little Badlands pouch right here just on one of the little, just right here on one of the little attachment spots just for throwing an extra fly box in it or whatever else if I need the extra space. But that's one of the great things about this pack is that it's so modular compared to the Sims that you can really deck this thing out and customize it to a however you want to, where Sims is kind of lacking in that department, in my opinion. Um, what else? I got, you know, tippet, fly cup of random assortment of flies. Basically, I live out of fly cups. If, uh, 
Shout out to Living Waters, supplying all the fly cups. Awesome stuff though. Uh, probably should put those in fly box, but here we are. We're being honest, that's what's in my pack. Um, and then I've got wallet. Looking for this too. Oh, probably should have looked in my pack first. <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically all the things I keep in my pack. I don't normally would have my camera in there, but obviously filming right now. So yeah, so with that being said, I've been very, very impressed with it so far. It's it's been really nice to be able to. I mean, it's got all the full fly patch stuff in the in the front. Being able to throw your tippet ring or or uh, attach the little Velcro stuff to this stuff. I mean, it's pretty. It would take a lot of something to knock that off. And if it did knock it off, I'm almost certain you'd be able to hear it. So that way you're not losing this stuff. Uh, got another ring for attaching whatever other attachments that you want on there. Uh, I haven't really put this through the ringer yet, uh, but that will come. I was just kind of doing more or less a first impression kind of thing on this pack. And uh, I've used it a handful of times now in the mountains. And now I've done it a bunch in the hill country and whatnot. And love the pack. It's going to be a staple in my uh, gear setup and fly fishing, fly fishing setup. So, uh, but with that, that's basically all I got for you. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Look at that. It's twirl proof. The bag doesn't even budge. You want to see it again? That was a cooler one. <laughs>